Right, YouTube, it's in here. We are making the bottom part of the Dead Space N7 armor suit this week. Uh, we have the under armor where the groin area is, and we have the uh, knee pads and the uh, bits that go around the back of the leg. What we have for the under armor for this part here is this. Um, this is a workplace mat, uh, a mat that goes on on your bench where you put your tools on and it doesn't fall off. It's got a rubber rubber type of texture and, um, and you can see through it. What I plan to wear underneath this, uh, so you can't see my skin, is just some stockings. That's the under part. You can pick this up at um, a hardware store for around $10. Then you're going to need some EVA foam, which I'm going to use for that part there and also this part here. Um, I've just cut the EVA foam out. I'm speed dremeling today and how I do that is I get the steel ruler. I put it down where my line is. So first I, I get my measurements of what I just told you and I just do lines like in various places and then I'll do a line with the ruler uh, in pen all the way down where it's going to be and then when I dremel I leave the ruler there just to start off with and then um, while using two hands, but I'm holding um, my phone with one, I hold the ruler in one hand and then I just do a couple of strips down and it will give me a reference point. It will dig like a little dig in there. And then I'll take the ruler away so it doesn't damage the bit too much and then I'll finish it off. But This is what the thigh guard looks like when it's cut out. Now this, the dremel part has now been curved to my leg and I've heated it up so it gives it a nice shine and it also, um, when you heat it up um, with the heat gun, it kind of gets rid of all those little bits and pieces that are still left in there so it doesn't have to be that flash to dremel and then when you seal it, it will get rid of it even more. This part here, cut it out and what I've done here is I used my knife, I put a cut down the middle and then I cut it this way in, not all the way through, but um, just to meet the cut in the middle, and also I, cu I cut it in that way. And what the object objective there is, is so I can pull what was in there, and it create creates that kind of bend shape that you're after. And so I bent it in, I heated it, and um, I've cut off the edges here, so when it meets this, it's nice and flush. And I cut the edges up there because I'm going to put, um, oh you'll see I've got to put little bits up there. And then I bent this just over my knee to give it a bent shape because that goes around your knee. Right, I've uh, glued the two parts together that um, you just saw. Um, before I glued them together, what I did was I put the um, this part here around my leg. And then I got this part and put it on, on top of it. Um, so um, this part I wrapped around the back of my leg and I pulled it forward as tight as it could because the bottom part of it is uh, tighter because your leg gets smaller as it gets to your knee. So, um, and then it's given it basically um, how it goes down from this part. So I wrapped it tight around my leg, I put this part on top and then I just got a pen and I traced it along and just double check, trace it along again and then I cut it out and now what you have here is it butting up hard against it because it was cut so um, and I did that on both sides this is what it looks like with it on just circle around a little bit alright I'm cutting out the fabric well the work mat now the bench work mat <coughs> what I've done here is I have uh, cut it um, to fit my leg. This is where I glued it. I just put a um, used hot glue and put a strip down and then I just put it on top of each other and it's holding really tight. Um, it's not that uh, it's, yeah, not that noticeable, a little bit noticeable but it's this is gonna this glue part is going to be on the back side of your uh, leg um, opposite to your knee so hardly anyone should notice it. So this part will be between that last part I just showed you and the boot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that last bit I just showed you on and combine it with this. Okay, now these are the two parts combined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this um, into here. So it's it's one piece. Alright, <coughs> I've just glued the, um, the material in now. 
and I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, I've glued it inside. It doesn't have to be touching all, all sides. It's just got to stay in there. Um, so what I've done is I've glued uh, the front and the back, and um, when you when your legs in there, it's it's yeah, it's it's, it's fine. It's just got to stay in there, and it's quite tight in there now. So basically, the boot, my boot, will cover this part um, about there. Yeah. Just cutting out the upper knee pad now. It is uh, 19 centimeters by uh, 25 centimeters. So just uh, drawing out my next part using the steel ruler. Um, just slide it across. Steel ruler is better, I reckon, than the um, normal reel ruler because it won't uh, degrade as you dribble along the side of it. And um, the scissors I use is uh, titanium based, makes it easier to cut. Making the under knee armour part. Uh, this is my measurements, but um, from this point to the end point is 21.5 centimetres. From here to there is 2 centimetres, 2 centimetres. Um, it's also 2 centimetres across here, and um, <coughs> uh, 2 centimetres here between this part. And then this is the middle. I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to cut that out, cut this part out here. Um, what's it by? Uh, what's it by? Sorry, um, by about eight centimeters. I'll cut, cut it out. So I've cut off these parts here, and I've also cut a line down the back and put in those um, uh, side lines as well, so I can pull out the middle uh, if it's going to come out. So the objective here by doing this in the back is to when you bend it so it bends nicely on the front and creates like a defined line since this is going on the on the knee and it's got a bend so what you can do after that is you can also curve it heat it up and also put it put some glue down here so it will set it in place as well because it's quite thin there what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, cutting up this round bit on the, um, well it's going to be a round bit on the lower knee guard, you've got to be careful when doing this. So what I've just done is I've heated up my knife, um, there are a lot of soldering kits out there that have a knife attachment but I'm a poor person at the moment so I have to do things the hard way and this should just pull off now. So what I did was I cut downwards first right around and then I just put the knife up. So now the next part I'm going to use in that is the um, this is the part to um, to help chairs stick on the floor without scratching the lino and get that from like the $2 shop or um, a cheap shop and then that should just sit in there like that and that will be painted uh, red. So what I did here on this part was I just did the same same thing, cut this out, cut little notches in it. This one is missing a leg over here on the inner inner thigh. So um, you can leave the leg on if you want, but I'm following the armour as much as I can. So now I have to do this pretty much for the next leg and replicate that. Alright, these are with the two parts connected now. Still got a still got some movement to walk around. Um, what I've done is I've just glued this part onto the mesh or the work mat. Alright, uh, this is the next part. This is above the um, the, th the thigh guard and the next bit up and it's got the curve shape. So that sits you know, above here like that. Um, so what I've done is I cut the shape out, I put a slit down the back, I did the same as before, um, pull that pull a bit out and then curve it. And then I curved it in the other direction as well, and it's created that part. So what I'll do now is I'll attach another little bit, like a separator between the thigh guard and, and this bit, and then I'll glue it on. So the next part is done now. I've just added that part in, and I had the spacer in, in there, and I've just glued 
this part to the side of the spacer with these parts touching the, um, the riblet part. So that's all glued in now and on to the next part. Alright, starting with a square bit, I've already cut this part out and I'm just going to show you how to do this part because it's quite difficult. I'm turning it sideways a bit and I'm going to wrap it around my body like that. And this part is to go here and then it's going to wrap around and it should be just at the bottom of your spine. And that's basically, I'm just going to trace a line now where my um, greaves are and then um, attach it to that. This is what that piece looks like cut out from the big sheet of foam. Um, this will be on this leg now, so it's a bit opposite. So basically, this piece in, the, in, a, in a reflection um, comes to about this point here on the armour. And then it glues in on the top. And then there's a cut down here, and then glues in on onto this um, onto the this part, and then glues glues around to about here, and comes up, cut, and then I will put this. This is not actually in the suit. This cut here, but it allows for for movement. Otherwise, it's just too solid. So I've just made this cut in here, and I'll probably will cover this up. Um, as he has like a, a bandolier or a, a pouch that sits there, so that will cover that part up. And then it comes across and up to, to the back there. So how I've secured it is um, just using a belt. This belt won't be visible on the suit. Um, it'll be covered by the suit itself. And I've used the green foam mat because it allows for flexibility more than the um, EVA foam. And this will be painted and uh, I've still got some more stuff to, to put here. And I've just uh, basically just glued a piece in there, rough hairs, because this won't be seen. But this part will be seen here, and I've put another bit of yeah, foam there. And I also put a little bit of green foam at the back, um, underneath this, and glued it to the belt. I'll use a heat gun. Sit there. We'll bend around using the heat gun and gluing, glued, gluing onto there, putting the cut along the side and then attaching it like the same as this part here. So before I, before I bend it, I will um, put some lines down and um, dremel out so it looks like that. Hey guys, this is where I made it up to so far. I've got the, the next leg done now, and uh, I've just got to do all the other fine bits, uh, fine tuning, and other bits. It is quite, quite solid, quite sturdy. Um, I probably couldn't run in it, but I can definitely walk. Um, it feels quite comfortable. You can probably take out uh, another bit under your calf muscle if you need to, if you want to get more of a height on, on your uh, on your walking. But um, you know, it feels feels good. Uh, when you get to the bit, when you're when you've glued it to the belt, and um, you've glued it back here, then um, once you've got to that stage, what you want to do is heat up the um, EVA foam when it's on you, and then press it in and curve it, So, and then it'll um, curve to your body. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll try and get the next one up in a couple of days. If you like what you see, please like, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe to hopefully see me finish this armor in the next three weeks. All right, thank you.